Como parte de los esfuerzos frente al cambio climático y en el marco de las metas de desarrollo sostenible, diversos países del mundo se han comprometido a restaurar parte de sus tierras degradadas antes del año 2020. Estamos hoy en Cancún, donde se celebra la Conferencia de las Partes del Convenio sobre la Diversidad Biológica, donde la Asociación de Colaboración en Materia de Bosques desarrolló un día completo de sesiones y paneles con expertos en restauración. Hemos preguntado a estos expertos cuáles serían sus recomendaciones y perspectivas para que los países de Latinoamérica puedan alcanzar sus metas en la fecha prevista. What we have seen uh, is that restoration targets by countries tend to be very ambitious. And this is on the one hand is a good thing because you need ambitious targets to generate motivation to actually do things. On the other hand, you also have to be realistic. So you have to find a balance between what you would like to achieve and what is feasible, what you have the capacity for and what you also have the financing for. For restoration to be successful, uh, essentially anywhere in the world, it's necessary to fully engage stakeholders in the decision-making process. It's necessary to both inform uh, stakeholders about the process of restoration, the benefits of restoration, and also how they can um, interact with um, the process. It's also necessary to re-engage during the course of the restoration. I would tell countries to uh, devise to the extent possible uh, maps and plans that are holistic, that do not only necessarily focus on tree planting or an, uh, a single objective, but that really take into account the variety of services that can be achieved through very different restoration approaches. Uh, so far what we see is that these national plans or uh, so-called degradation maps uh, focus on a very few issues and tend to miss the overall picture. Of course, in very big countries this, this can be very challenging. You may have to downscale, but as a whole, my, my uh, thoughts and recommendations would be to look at uh, as many options as possible and you know, have clear targets as possible and involve different stakeholders as possible because what can be degraded for one set of stakeholders is a productive area for others. So the issue of degradation as a single currency to decide whether I'm going to approach or apply a given restoration technique is not necessarily the best one. The commitments made by Latin American countries of 20 million hectares is a large, large area and restoration objectives can only be achieved over long term. From a science perspective, I would recommend that um, scientific institutions in Latin America are engaged continuously in restoration processes, advising the government as well as local stakeholders and companies on how best in the local context to restore land. I would suggest to consider all your land-based targets and demands in an integrated way because restoration does not exist in a vacuum. It talks with agriculture, it talks with conservation and doing a smart spatial planning is the key to avoid conflicts and maximize the benefits.